We're now on game three. This is Butterfly. And this is Chosen. It's currently game three of this best of five series, as Butterfly said. And we've got a 2-0 lead for Pro Marine. He's playing the blue Protoss in the top middle position. And his opponent, once again, is Mafia Kira playing the yellow Terran down in the bottom right position. So it's going to be interesting if Marine goes for the mid-build strategy. I think Kira's going to have an advantage in this game because his gateways are most likely going to be really far away from the point of attack, which is going to be like right here. And mm -hmm. Kira being a three barracks player with Terran, I think he's going to be well equipped to take this to late game and use his corner base to overthrow Marine. So I would say that Kira has a slight advantage in this game given how good of a uh, player he is with Terran. Yeah, you know, I'm going to actually agree with you on that, Brad. And I think that since he's in the corner base, it kind of gives it's going to give him more time from the Pro Marine scout because Pro Marine always likes to scout. I don't know if I should even be saying this, but always likes to scout <laughs> the mid bases. So that's well, I mean, it's really common for Protoss when they mid-build because you can get in and out of the mid-bases fastest. You see how this ramp is really short, so instead of going you know, up here through this whole corner ramp, you can get in and out of the mid-bases fast. Yeah, and you see Marines scouting the other mid-base. Uh, pretty much everybody when they mid-build likes to scout the mid-bases first because you can get in and out of them really fast. In, as your first scout is your probe, you almost have to scout the mid-base because by the time your probe gets back, you're going to have just enough money to put the three, the, sorry, the two gateways down at that time. Yeah, and so this, is, this is very important if you're trying to learn how to mid-build with Protoss. You need to get in, and as soon as you can see, you know, like the main right here or where a building would be, get out of there. You don't want to be sending your probe all the way over here and being lazy with it. You want to you want to select your probe when it goes into the base and turn it around right away. So you see Marine, as soon as he sees this corner, he's gone. You see that white, like, that box in there? That's where the command center or the... Yeah, this little corner the, right here, this box. Where the would be. That's where the main is. And as soon as you get far enough in, you see Marine not going all the way to the back corner. You can't go all the way in. You have to, as I said, just get in until you see something and then get turned around and scout a different base. Time is everything when you're mid-building. And, yeah, Kira doing the three barracks, one gas. And this is going to be bad news for Marine. His gateways are all the way up here. His zealots have like a 15-second yes. walk just to get to the battle. So I think Kira is going to be able to hold this off pretty easily. And now right now Marine's just given his guesstimation of the bottom right because he didn't quite have it fully scouted at the top left either. He's just going to assume it's kind of down here. Yep. That's a good choice for him. That's going down. Oh, is he going to lose? He's going to lose oh. his probe. Oh. That's big time. I think Kira has this. Uh, I think I think Kira's going to take this game pretty easily. Uh, he just took out the first probe and two zealots versus five marines and the pump. When your zealots are so far away, I think uh, Kira has this pretty easily. Yeah, definitely getting that first probe. That also means like it's just going to stall a cannon push because Protoss players always like the cannon push to Terran player. And this is actually kind of just a mirror game from what we're seeing from previous. But just it switched around. Kira is now playing the Terran. Yep. The last game was Marine Kira Protoss. doing mid build Protoss against Pro Marines Terran, and the builds are even almost similar. I mean, even to when they get the gas. Yeah. And everything. Bunker placement, even everything's yep. pretty similar. Mm -hmm. I like how this build with the barracks build though. This is also that Kira's doing. This is also what Hardy likes to do. Yeah. There's, yeah. There's a lot of. Uh, yeah. Hardy is really the only player that puts his barracks like this. Mm -hmm. That's why I like like just a special note on it. Yeah, Kira and Hardy place their uh, barracks is like this, and and it's surprisingly, Marine's doing pretty well. He has actually hold. I thought Kira was going to be out really far ahead uh, as far as battles taking place in his base, but Marine keeps sniping off these SCVs trying to build his barracks. Get another one too. That's actually placed a little bit far, and that and this cannons. I don't know if they're going to. I don't know. They might actually be getting down. Stack attack. Oh, SCVs. stack attack going down for Kira, and the Marine coming in with the Zealots pounding away those SCVs. Kira losing so much economy. He's already lost five SCVs to Zealots. That is actually a huge play. I don't. These games are going to finish. They're definitely going to finish. There's too many Zealots there. Marines can't take this all down. I don't know. I, th I really saw this going the other direction for a second. I really did. Yeah, well, I, <laughs> uh, Marine really good at the mid-build. It's probably his strongest strategy with any race is mid-build Protoss. He's, he's regarded as one of the best at doing it. And it looks like he's taking Kira to the ropes here. He's going to need to be struggling to get a bunker up just to stay in this game. And Marine getting a little careless with cannons, uh, building uh, maybe one or two too many and maybe now three too many. He could be spending those minerals on maybe getting another Nexus, but he just really wants to take this game early because he's far away. He doesn't want to let this corner Terran get to late game. Corner Terran, very strong late game. Yes. 
they, they, once they, if they get their choke up, it just looks disastrous. If you're trying to ever beat them. And it, the reason why he's putting the fat tree down there is because he doesn't know if there's going to be cans coming from the top of his base, and he has to make sure he's able to get that down. And the, and the corner of the base is the safest for that factory. Yeah, and Jira doing a good job of the multitasking, staying good on his depots. Yes. He needs to get Marines in this bunker and, and repair it. Oh, he has two SCVs in that bunker. A yeah. little bit of a miscue. He needs more Marines in there. Gonna, he, he, yep, he drops. And is he going to... He keeps oh, that he's bunker. Gonna save he it. keeps the bunker, and that's going to keep Kira in the game. Good <laughs> job by Kira there. That is going to keep him in the game. That bunker was down to, I think, 12 hit points. So one more hit, and it was done. Good I job by Kira seven there. Or so. I yeah, know, I mean, crazy. it was really low. That was really close. The saving SCV there, just like always. Yeah, and Marine needs to be looking forward to sort of more of a late game. And yeah, there you see him getting the Nexus. He knows he's not going to be able to kill Kira. Kira has that one bunker full of Marines with range. And he's going to have that tank out here in about a minute, it looks like. So, Kira is very hurt, but it looks like he is going to be able to live, at least for the time being. Yeah, because I don't see any Zellots down I don't see Marine have any Zellots down there to help assassinate any tank. Okay, he's bringing a few down, I see, on the minimap, but that might not all be enough. This is come out, and those cannons are just doing disastrous damage. He's making the Terran lose minerals just got the snap of the finger. Yeah, see, this is a double-edged sword. Not only does the... Oh, oh is he going to lose tank. the tank? Oh, is he, That tank is... Oh, 30. He <laughs> barely gets it out. You can't do that. If if if, if Kira would have lost that first tank, that would have been just horrible for him. But, yeah, anyway, not only does the Terran have to repair, which takes minerals, he's repairing with three SCVs, so that adds up pretty quick. And oh, yes. not only that, but those SCVs aren't mining. So not only is he mining with SCVs, but he's spending minerals with those SCVs. So Marine really... Oh, and that, that uh, main, main is in down. red. So if he had a queen, he could come and fest that. Oh, wait. He's, uh, sorry. No, yeah, he's <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll do that in all its one time. Oh, I think these thoughts are going to come and assassinate the tank. I assume so. Oh, no, they're not. What, what's Marine are gonna, doing? Are they going to main hunt? I don't know. Oh, Marine miscuing. I don't know what's going on with... I don't know what happened. That that was like an AI glitch there or something. I don't know why Marines Zealots went up here and just died. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. That's probably one of the biggest fights I've ever seen. Yeah, like, that, that just, was that was a bad Zellas mistake. Were, I mean, those Zealots probably could have taken off those tanks. Yeah, he could have come up here and taken speed. out these two tanks. I think with those five Zealots, but he just sent them up here to mm -hmm. die. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I, well, I think those tanks actually made a layway point so the Zealots had to go up above. Maybe. If he's and uh, sure. honestly, I'm pretty impressed with Kira. I thought he was going to be dead when I saw these cannons warping in right here. And and when Marine had like eight Zealots and all these cannons, mm -hmm. I thought Kira was going to be dead. So I think that was that one bunker in the quick Marine range that really, uh, oh, that tank getting fired on, but he's going to repair it. Yeah, fine. Actually, that's real good. Now that now Kira's able to get his SCVs out without having him take three or four hits and die right away from the cannons. That's huge. Yeah, and Kira does have a nice little tank pump going down, but he's really small with the 59 supply. And Marine with a 73 supply and the two Nexus is pumping while uh, Kira only has one command center and uh, and he lost, what did he lose, like 10 SCVs maybe? Oh, he lost a substantial amount. I, can't, I don't even want to place a number on it. It's, he is kind of supply stuck too at this moment. He's at 66, 66. But this is the point where Terrans can usually take over once they can kill all these cannons for free and not lose any units to them. And this is the point where Terran can decide to either counter or kind of choke and play it for late game. And Kira's best option would probably be to choke and get his kind of economy up because he took so much damage early game. And according to the minimap, that's, I think that's what he's doing. Yeah, but yep, that's getting the bunker down. Doing. He's not going to be trying to get aggressive. Cool. And Marine, ooh, he's going for mass, and that's a big mistake. Given the fact that he's going for mass, I think Kira can take this game because he's going mass, and Kira's going to have bunkers and depots and tanks and Marines and fire bats, and I don't think... Um, I don't think Marine can get through this ramp against all these tanks. What's he have now? Five tanks? Five tanks? I don't think he's going to have a, a, a chance at all. Yeah, guns are going to yeah. become obsolete. And, yeah. then, so this, and then the bunkers, I'm assuming he'll fire, throw some fire bats in there, and then his thoughts will become obsolete. Cancel out all of his units. Unless yeah, he had incredible mass at this point in the game. There's no way Marine's going to break this choke with any mass. So I think a little bit of a mistake here for Marine to... But he does have the tech. He has the Templar Archives already finishing at 9.20 into the game. So Marine not completely dead in the water. Oh, and Cannon's going down at his choke. With Marine going mass, there's no reason for Cannon to beat his choke when he's ahead in the game. That tells me that Marine is going to be playing for a late game sort of mass recall strategy, mass drop strategy, or mass carrier. 
Uh, he's just using the mass to take map control and keep the Terran in his base. And there's those fire bats we were talking about. Yeah, to leave him the ability to go for some sort of late game strategy. And the cannons at his choke tell me that's exactly what he's going for. And Marine has two set of uh, two set of controlled groups of units to his left and his right from the mid, just to kind of sandwich the Terran if Terran decides to get offensive. Yup, and you see these units in the other uh, sides right. of the map from Marine. That's in case Kira pushes out, Marine can kind of hit him from all angles and really surround the Terran. Yeah, that's what I was just talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. So, Good job. Oh, Sorry so about that. Cute. So cute. I was just thinking ahead to what I was going to say. Yeah, uh, Brad's, always, <laughs> Brad's always one step behind. Now you guys know. All right, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Usually the one's ahead. All right, I want to see, I want to look at Queen's base. He's putting up a lot of pylons there. I'm assuming, what you, I mean, two issues. Yeah, that he's going to be going for mass robotics facility here or mass starport, I'm thinking. I don't see a starport yet. Oh, a second cybernetic score. That means carriers. Yep, yep. definitely. Oh, yep. And there's the air weapons. So Marine is going carriers. He's getting the quick upgrades. And he's going to use this mass to take map control. And he's going to be using this probe. Stall time. Yep, to stall time. You want to build cannons here outside the base and build cannons all the way back to your base. That way the Terran takes forever to tank push to your base. And by the time they get there, you have carriers with eight interceptors and upgrades.